how's everybody doing out there? Today we're at the uh, Bilo on East Butler Road in Malden, South Carolina. It's been abandoned since about April of 2021. Uh, I've done some aerial shots with the drone, but we're gonna get a closer look now. So let's go. Windows over there. Now I personally, did not shop that much at Barlow unless they had something on sale. You know, it's not it's not my go-to grocery store. I guess they didn't make because there's a lot of competition. You know, we got uh, Publix and and Walmart, of course. Uh, Food Lion, which bought out many of the uh, Barlow locations. I think it's still in pretty good condition. Windows are filthy. I don't know how much you can see in there, but the all the shelving and all the registers are gone. The signage is still up, butcher shop, seafood, all that stuff. Let's take a walk over here, look in this window. Can't really see in there that well. You can see a little bit, but it's really not too much of a glare from the sun. It's really bright out today. Might get a decent look in here. Yeah, we can see pretty good in here. They still got a lot of track lighting up in there. That was over the produce section. This was one of the nicer by those stores. Now, there are other by those stores in the area that closed down. Uh, the one on Pleasantburg is being turned into a uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts Warehouse, I think. Uh, the one on North Street is going to be a... They just announced that that's going to be a, a new Sprouts. They're going to revitalize that whole shopping center and that's going to be a new Sprouts. Now, I don't know if we'll be able to see anything if I go up here. It's a lot of competition in this one little area. We have Ingalls across the street and then Publix basically in the next door shopping center. Let's see if we can take a look in here. I can't see the love of pie. We will go ahead and take a walk to the back, to the side in the back, and see what's back there. This was the drive through for the pharmacy. So, as you can see, this store actually closed on 624 20. So I got my dates wrong. Well, maybe the pharmacy closed earlier. So I will find the correct dates. And there's a loading dock. That's where deliveries were made. Over here we have the compactor. 
another back door entrance. And this is probably the uh, the end of the Bilo store. Nothing too exciting to see, but still wanted to go ahead and document this old building. the entrance signs down here we'll get a closer shot of that actually it says something I can't exactly tell what that sells it says the drugstore and then it says Bilo down there. I don't know how good you can see it. Let's see if I can enhance that in post edit. We're going to head back to the front now. I'll see you up there. Okay, so it says. The drugstore at Bilo. I don't know if you can see that. Got to show you the uh, the ghost signage up on the top of the building. And seafood and floral. Then bakery and cafe. There's no signs that say it's Bilo anywhere. I'm going to take one more look on the inside. It's something I might have forgot to show you. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. One of their slogans was, Welcome to your neighborhood, Bilo. Savings without sacrifice. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and end the video here. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you like this kind of content, hit the like button below. Hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to receive notifications of when I upload new videos. Y'all have a good day. We will see you in the next video.